Just within the last hour, I sat down for a one-on-one -on -one interview with Bishop Thomas Weeks III. Weeks is the husband of TV evangelist Juanita Bynum, who accuses him of beating her in a hotel parking lot. She filed for divorce. He always maintained he didn't want a divorce. So tonight, I asked him, does he still love her? And is there room for reconciliation? I'm not the perfect husband. I don't proclaim to be. I've even shared on the pulpit. I've had moments where there have been things I wish that would never happen. I have never reached out to physically harm, to emotionally or mentally harm her. I've always been a protector, a provider, a lover. Why did you go to the hotel that night? She needed help. Her ministry was without financial support. She just came out of a conference eight days earlier from the Texas that I could prove in court that have been saved and documented she had no money to even rent a ballroom for her mentorship class and she wanted to use our church that she left three months earlier to use again and would pay two thousand dollars when she got registration money for to come in and to use it now note she wouldn't come preach to our sons and daughters at the church, but she wanted to use our church so she could bring in other people. But the we, meeting was not for reconciliation to no. try to save your marriage? We had already reconciled. What is the truth from your side? Because we've heard her say that that night in the hotel parking lot, you grabbed her, you choked her, you knocked her down. And she says that again in this article that's coming out in the December issue of Essence, that you and did, did indeed strike her. Well, let me put it like this. I have never hit my wife in five years. I will clarify a lot more of that on tomorrow. I will share a lot of the principles what happened. If people only knew uh, a snippet of the truth of what happened on August 21st, for instance, in that article, they said I came to talk about tithing and uh, giving. That was not the case. I was trying to support her in the ministry in a text that she sent to me that she was without money for her ministry, that she was literally at the place of broke financially. And all of this has not been shared. I wish that people would really dig into the truth and ask some questions to her about the gaps in her story, the things that weren't said in the police report and the incident report, but they haven't. Bishop Weeks plans a news conference for tomorrow morning. That's when he says he will go into more detail and tell his side of the story of what went on in the marriage with Juanita Bynum. He says he owes it to those people who have stood by him. By him. He realizes now that his silence all these months was a mistake and that he owes it to his membership. By the way, he says that membership has dwindled from thousands to just a few hundred.